good morning students so let us continue chapter 3 page formatting in word so today we shall start formatting a doc document so this one you have, might have learned earlier in, in class 4 so page formatting which means setting page size and margins numbering and uh, pages numbering the pages giving headings on the top and bottom of every page that is called header and footers and so on so first you have to take the paper size uh, most commonly used uh, to print a document the paper size is a4 paper size so firstly what you have to do is to set a paper size you have to click on page layout then you have to go to size then next what you have to do is you have to choose the option you want from the size menu then there you will get letter legal and so on you can see this one in screen 6 so these are the paper sizes your entire document will get modified to the new page size now to select the size not shown on the size menu you have to click on more paper sizes you can see it in the screen 6 setup dialog box that is in screen 7 then you have to click on paper size and select the desired size from the drop down menu the next you have to click ok so you can also specify your own paper size by specifying the measurement under width and height screen 7 can specify your own paper size however if you want to print your document the choices should be limited to the sizes your printer can handle so you must remember this one the choice should be limited to the sizes of your printer that can handle The next one is page orientation. Page orientation means printing direction of the text. Or page orientation is the printing direction of the text. There are two ways to print on paper. That is the default orientation is portrait. And to change the orientation, firstly you have to click on the page layout tab. Then you have to click on in orientation. After that, you have to click on portrait or the landscape. You can see the image on page 27. You can see in, port in the portrait orientation, the page width is smaller than the page length. And in the landscape mode or the landscape orientation, the page width is greater than the page now margin setting margin means margins are the spaces on the four outer sides of the text on a page and the default margin in ms word are 2.54 cm that is 1 inch on all four sides so choosing from standard settings first you have to click on page layout tab then you have to go to margins that is shown in screen 9 after that you have to click on any option normal, narrow, moderate, width, wide to set the margins on the page then settings 
setting custom margins so first you have to click on the page layout tab then you have to go to margins then you have to go to custom margins it is shown in screen 9 then you have to go to the page setup window i mean then you will see the page setup window opens that is in screen 10 after that you enter the margin values in the top bottom left and right boxes that is shown in screen 10 after that you click ok next using the ruler to set margins so to change the left right margin point to the left right margin boundary on the horizontal ruler the pointer changes to a double arrow you can see it here the double arrow now you have to drag the margin boundary to fix the margin screen 11 the setting the left right margin using ruler bars so to change the top bottom margins point to the top bottom margin boundary on the vertical ruler the point, pointer changes to a double arrow you can see the image drag the margin boundary to fix the margin next the piece break sometimes you want to start a fresh topic from a new page so to insert a page break first you have to place the cursor where you want to insert the page break after that you click on insert tab then go to page pages group after that you go to page break it is shown in screen 12 columns when you type on a page the text is in a single column by default so in this book also you can see the text is in the single column however in most magazines and newspapers the text is arranged in two or more columns you can see the newspaper the magazines word enables you to present text in Select the text you want to present in columns. After that, you have to click on Page Layout tab. After that, go to Page Setup group and then you go to Columns. Next, in the drop down list, you click on the number of columns you want two or three, and so on. You can see it in the screen 13A. Arranging text into columns and you can see the A and B, the screen A and B. Next, or, or what you can do is you can select the text you want to present in more than one column. Uh, then you click on more columns you can see this one in the screen 13a after that in the columns dialog box that is in screen 14 shown here click on the number of columns in which you want to display your text here you can also set the width of the columns after that you click ok Next, that is column break. You see the image that is uh, in column in screen 13B. You can see that the columns are not balanced. There are four points in column 1 and only two in column 2. You would like to move the point don't burn dry leaves from column 1 to column 2 so to do this you have to place the cursor before the point you want to move to the second column in this case before don't 
After that you click on page layout tab then go to page setup group after that you go to breaks see this one in screen 13a in the next in the drop down menu click on column you can see this one in screen 15 after that the last point in column 1 will move to column 2 your columns appear more balanced now text that appears in the top margin of a document and the footer is the text that appears in the bottom margin. Headers and footers generally contain information such as the name of the document, author's name, date and page number. The text entered as header or footer appears on each page of the doc document. It is useful to have a header in a long document of several pages. So to do this, to insert header and footers in your doc document, first you have to click on insert tab, then you have to go to header and footer group. After that, you go to header that is in screen 16, it is shown. After that, in the drop down menu, you click on edit header. After that, type the header text. Then double click inside the page to come back to the next, uh, to come back to the text on the page. After that, do the same with the footer. The screen 16 shows header and footer. The next one is page number. To number the pages of your do document, first you have to click on insert tab, then go to a header and footer group, after that go to page number. There in the drop down menu, go to where you want the page number to appear. For example, bottom of page that is shown in screen 17. Then click on the desired style. After that, page numbers will appear in continuation throughout the do document at the bottom of every page. I hope it is clear to you. So uh, we will continue in our next class. Thank you very much.